G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days, welcome back to the stun buttons only challenge and look at my little house, look at my apartment I've built for myself up at the top of a very ruined hotel, I've got windows to watch the sunrise, I've got little chimneys for all the smoke from my forges and campfires, I've got everything a hapless survivor could need, except for a decent weapon. The sun's already up so I'm quickly chucking some steel on the craft, I'm reorganizing all of my tools so I did do a fair bit of upgrading overnight and absolutely zero inventory management but at least now look I've got a proper roof up here I've got my Jew collectors going or oh, that's what I need to do what I forgot to do last night I was too distracted doing everything else I might have just heard a screamer I might have just heard a screamer from you and you and you is I did down the other end of all of this Start putting in some farm pots. I've got to start working on my food production. I need to keep myself nice and well fed because if I'm not fed, I'm not protected, I'm not protected, I'm going to have to use a stun button and nobody thank you. Chuck in some coffees as well. Potatoes, coffees, and that will go pumpkins as well. We'll go pumpkins. I suppose they're good for discounts. But that's that. The sun is up. It's a new day, a new adventure. Hopefully it's gonna go well for me, as well as yesterday did. So yesterday, obviously, we got the um we got the nerd gloves. We actually need a repair kit if I have around one around here somewhere. Yes, I do. Uh, I got the nerd gloves, which gives me 40% better damage on my stun button. That sounds awfully close. That sounds awfully close. Are you somehow up the top of the stairs? You are too. Get out, Loza. No, no, come back. Baby, come back. You can blow it all on my stun button. There you bloody go. Got you doing flips. Finish you off since you're careening. All right, time to go. Oh, I'm so hungry and thirsty though. Hang on. Are you guys the ones who have been... Oh, yeah, I think it was. Who've been beating on my bloody wall all night? You died immediately. I can hear another one up behind me somewhere. Yeah, there you are. Nice. Good. Okay. Okay. Well... I don't actually have a job to do this morning. And what I did see yesterday before I took it off to go see Trady was just next door, this joint. What a cool looking place this is. It could be a really cool little compound that you could take over and survive in. The Fallen Survivor compound. I mean, or maybe it's also good, not such a good place to survive in. I feel like the previous tenants didn't have much luck with that. But it's a cool looking joint and I want to explore it. I love exploring all these new POIs. Chicken, there's another chicken. What's with... What's with all of the chooks in here? Is that why the, the, the survivor compound fell? Was it the attack of the chooks? They got a little bit too ahead of themselves, started count, counting their chickens before they hatched, and they only counted two and decided to leave. Don't know. Don't know. Just a couple of chickens around the joint. I can't find a way into this supply container out here. Someone's beating on the walls on the outside. I assume maybe there's going to be a switch or something somewhere or a key that's going to unlock that for me it's a tier it's a tier zero pier wise so hopefully there won't be anything too especially bad through here that door's unlocked i just beat through here a second ago that door's locked as well i jumped off that tower into the back end no okay all right okay i'll keep my eyes peeled then there's a button at the back i assume that's for the garage door, which, oh, yep, may not have been a great idea to open because there's zombies out there. That might have been how the survivors fell in the first place. Are you dead? <laughs> you may be dead, but you still got your jiggle physics. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> Why are jiggle physics on the zombies such a priority every time? <laughs> well, they're only dead when they stop moving. I don't think she's going to stop moving for a while. God damn. There's another button for another door, which goes back out. So I really like this place. This is a really well thought out, like this is what it'd all be like, right? I can't, oh, I can now close the doors. That just unlocked you. So you got nice big garage doors. There's also these doors in here that don't actually work, but using like shipping container doors as doors for a building, really bloody cool. A nice little detail I really bloody like. Oh, I was going to say, I'm sure there's going to be someone in here somewhere. G'day, bud. Nice little store you got running here. What are you selling? Trespass, trespass here or threat me. You just might feel them both. By the way, trade erect. All right, you overcompensating douchebag. Calm down. Going through the whole bottom level. I'm going to start making my way up. I was talking yesterday about how, like, some of, like, the new uh, decorations have added, like, the guys that are strung up and, like, tied to poles and things feel like they're preparing for the bandit update. 
This feels like a bandit compound. I mean, I suppose it's, it's a it's a fallen uh, survivor outpost, so... Oh! Holy! So, like, maybe not actually for bandits, but it's just a... Like, maybe there'd be, like, one of these that isn't fallen and still manned with regular people that are coming for you. Grab you. Thank you. Anyone else around here? I'm going to raid your snack cupboard for some soup. And, and, a, and a, a classroom as well. No one in there. I'm just trying to go as quick as I can to try and get through here. I can do all the looting later. Ooh. Oh, is this button for you? No? Damn it. Damn it, I really thought it would be. I mean, look, they were clearly classy survivors. They've ever got balconies. Balconies that face the rising morning sun. Mate, I, if they were still here, I would join them. I feel like they're on my level. We have a lot of um, a lot of things that line up. It'd be, it'd be a nice place to be. We'd get along just fine. Oh, buddy, come here. Oh, buddy, come here. I'm going to charge that button with... Your name on it, off the roof, you bloody ghost. See you later. Um, but that means I can't actually do anything to finish you off. I wish the fall damage did more, but all right. I guess I'll, I'll see you when you make your way back up the stairs there, champion. Anything in you? Sounds like there's a rad... Oh, a rad suit zombie. Get into it. Get into it. Don't wait for them to come to you. Get on the offensive. Get in there straight away. Nothing around. Nothing through you. Keep your eyes... Field for landmines and death drops and things. Some stairs up to the top. There's some, there's some good space in here. Like, I live just across the road, but this might have been the better option. I kind of wish I came to live here first. I'm living, I'm living in that shithole. Ah, oh, but that one's taller. Ah, oh, it's all about the height. Size does matter. I hear Pidgeys. Oh, what's a... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, God. I was pushed off the bloody building by a pigeon. I've got to crawl back home. I've got to crawl back home. I do have the skill. It means I can instantly cure my um, my broken legs. I'm just going to slide away before they realize that I'm very hurt and s very, very vulnerable right now. In fact, do I have... I think I do. Yeah, I've got you. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. Oh, look. A distraction. I mean, not a distraction. A totally delicious survivor just over there. You should definitely go and investigate that. That is still... Yeah, there you go. There you go. And then go even longer again. Even longer again. All the way down to you. Okay, good. But I hear a screamer. But I hear a screamer. Oh, I just need a plastic cast. But it's all the way at the top. Shit. This is what I've resorted to. Just slowly trying to crawl my way up the side of the building like a wannabe Spider-Man. All the way to you. It hurts every step that I take, every breath I make like I'm Sting. Let's get to the top. Let's get to the top. I feel like that scream is actually in my um in my stairwell. Sorry, legs. Oh, yeah. Nah, I know that hurts. But it doesn't super duper matter if I can instantly cure you. Just glue. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Glue your legs back together. Where... Is my plaster cast. I should definitely have brought some. I should definitely have brought some. Excuse you. Do I not... Do I not have plaster casts on me? I... Am not thrilled by this. Surely not. Surely didn't leave them behind. They're so important. They're so critical. Is a split gonna work? I, I didn't even bring the splints with me. Can I, can I go a splints? Make you. I can't. I can make a, oh, I can make a plaster cast with you in my, yeah, okay. In my, in my campfire. Is that going to heal me? No. Okay. You, plaster cast. That one. You just need, I've got waters. That's fine. You need some cornmeal. 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 That one. Oh, I want to need like eight of them, I think. Okay. Everyone just hang on. I'm in a bit of trouble up here. No! Beaker required! I don't have a beaker. I don't have a bloody beaker. Oh, that bloody pigeon! That pigeon pushed me off the side of the building and now I have to deal with the consequences. I'm gonna chuck in some steroids. It's gonna rinse my water so it doesn't stop me hurting myself any longer. It's gonna last long enough as well. I don't think I brought any health bars with me, did I? I can't believe I left my casts home. So cocky, so complacent, so goddamn arrogant, Woodle. Goddamn. Um, just double check if I'm missing anything. I don't think that I am. All right, well, 
I guess I'm just going to go and deal with this scream out. I'm going to be slow. I'm going to be very unsteady on my feet. Get out of here. Get bloody out of here. Ah! Oh, no. See you later. There's your bloody twin. Why is there always two? Oh, I'm just trying to get back. Oh, missed him. Trying to get back to where all my gubbins are. You're a... Oh, you weren't the feral. Can hear another one? Drop you. Drop you. I'm just walking because I can't run. I'm so bloody slow. Walking and trying to defend myself as I get along. Just going to pull up my bike up around here. Those zombies should have run down the streets. I'm going to close that door behind me. Yeah, there we go. And get back up to the top again. That bloody bird. I sent him, but he sent me. We were evenly matched. Pelican versus Pelican. Tier 3 hunt and knife out of you. I'll take you and change you over. If the game wanted to hear my pleas and give me a cast just right now, that would be that would be absolutely bonza. That'd be absolutely <laughs> that'd be a perla. I swear, I will give you... Actually, I'm going to start making deals with the devil, actually. I'm going to suddenly get I don't know, the robot devil's hands or have to play a golden violin or something. But I just want it. I just want it. <gasps> I want you, double storage pocket mod. You can go into that one. Why am I... Oh, because I got steroids. I was going to say, why am I completely, completely clapped for carrying capacity? Steroids. Steroids are good. Plus one biceps. Um, are you right? Do you want to not? Why are there two screamers down there coming to see me? They shouldn't be. Give me a stone. Give me a stone. Any pebble will do. That, okay, one pebble. Thank you for that one. I did ask for that specifically. Have you called it a horde? I didn't even do anything. I'm not even at my home. Oh, there's some food over there, which I would like, but I cannot get to because I don't have the legs. Why are they coming for me? I'm in a different house with a different building. I haven't been firing any guns. The screamers are just bloody ridiculous now. They really bloody hard. I'll take you. I'll take you. You've got anything good out of that one as well. Is there any more, like, loot or anything for me? Can I just... Can I stay up here this time and not fall off the building? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> I hate it here. Oh, they're up here. Oh, they're up here. Be brave. Be brave and get amongst it. Try and rely on the stun button crowd effect to try and keep them all at bay. You've got no choice now. You've got no escape. You've got no bloody escape. You're just going to have to fight your way through them. That worked out pretty well, actually, but that is a feral biker, which I'm not thrilled about. It's another feral biker, which I'm equally as unthrilled about. I was going to say, I feel like there's one behind me, and there's two behind me. Oh, spin. Spin. Sit. We're spinning around in circles like the fucking man spring club. No more coming that way. Go biker again. Sit. These ferals need a bloody die. I need that I need that point. I need that point in a position to get the insta-kill chance. You need to die. Oh, screamer again. Surely that wasn't a freshie. Surely that wasn't a freshie calling in another screamer horde. I've got to go. I've got to get out of here. I've got to actually hit some bloody shots though, please. I'm a braze. I'm a braze. You, on. Get down the stairs. They've got to come to me. It sounds like... Oh, what are you doing back here? Wait, is, have I not been through this side of it yet? I think I went through the other side. Nice. Well done. Proud of you. Lose your noggin about it, though. More coming. More coming. It's just... It just never stops. It never bloody stops. Charge up on you. You are now dead. You're dead. You're definitely dead. Another one. Gone. Here comes some more. Why is there always so many? It's just non-stop with these bloody screamers. Piss off. There's still so many more coming. Still so many more coming. Ah, uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Where's my bike? My bike's over this side. Um, I don't have a good escape. I don't have a good escape route. There's zombies bloody everywhere. Where did I leave it? Oh! Oh! Okay! Be brave! Oh! Please, 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 please! Yeah! Yes! Later in the cockpit and didn't hurt myself! Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm gone. Oh, the camera's still shaking from adrenaline. Quickly change it over again so it gets like the waggly effect gone. Holy shit. I hated every last moment of that. That was fucked. What were the screamers doing there? How did that happen? How did that go so wrong? There's a health bar in this vending machine. I'll take you and quickly chuck you on because somehow my steroids, the time on the steroids is going faster than the time on my broken leg. Not sure how that makes sense, but sure. Just add it to the list of fuck you things that's happened to me today. Uh, quickly chuck on my shopping trolley to read you and you and you and you and you. Nice. I've unlocked some of the sledge quality five. I can't get any better on the stun buttons though. I just, 
I am up against it with this. I'm heading out through the suburbs, past some rather nice looking houses too, to go and get that drop. It's out in the middle of nowhere, but I've got the bike so I can get there quick. I am, the good news is I am a bee's hairy nipple. I'm not sure how you would discern if the if a bee's nipple's hairy or not. Not really why you'd shave a bee to find that out. But a bee's hairy nipple away from getting the next level up. And once I have that, oh, it's so good. That's the best part of the repulsor mod for sure. Once I, wait, his nose is somebody itchy though. Once I have that next level up, I can get the top level of, um, of physician for that 10% chance. Not that it's gonna help me. My biggest issue at the moment is just the sheer inundation of screamers that's going on. It's ridiculous. It's so broken. I wasn't even firing guns in that POI. Just rolling with a stun button and screamers showed up. It's crazy. Oh, look out there though. Look out there though. The pilot was trying to call me. He was trying to tell me there's something better on the horizon, somewhere else I could go to. Cause like, yeah, like the building I'm in now, not super annoying. I was gonna try and make the best of it, but there's a whole, what looks like a bigger town out there. No, handbrake please. There you go, thank you. If there's, oh. And I hate this game. Great. Look at the wonderful view. I went to I went to the tall ground, the high ground, to try and get a view of what was out there. And you teased me. You you were like, hey, hey, look how cool this would be. And then hit it in a blanket of fog. And what now I want to know. Now I need to know. Could there be somewhere better for me to shack up out that way? Rather than just making do with the town I have. There could be something better in there. Hidden in the fog. We'll have to find out another time because there is the drop. Thank you. Oh, mine all the stumps and shits. Spin yourself around, beautiful. So it's over that way. I'm kind of on the outskirts of it here. G'day, Pitch. Just feeling a bit up in here this morning, coming over to have a squawk at me and chew my ears off. So I'm, oh, I'm, I mean, I'm a long way down to there, but I'm not too far. I'm gonna go like this and say, I guess that one, I think there's a city out there. I know there's a city out there somewhere, but I don't know how big it is or what it is. I can see some silhouettes. What's in the supply box? Some baked spuds and some fluids. Give us some of my health back and some fluids back. Thank you. I need it. I only need 299 XP to get to the next level. And I get 33. Oh, you'll do. I get 33 per cactus, but you're going to give me like 600. So, boop. Sent you flying. Hit you again. There we go. Bonza, mate. Skill point to spend, which is immediately going to go. Physician level 5. Each blow landed, doesn't say power attack or regular attack, so each blow landed with a stun button has a 10% chance for instant death. So I still think I need to power attack most of, well not most of the time, but some of the time because I got the 50% chance to insta charge uh, on a power swing. So every second swing basically should give me the ability to stun zombies. Can I insta kill you? Nope. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. You're a crawler. You were weak enough that man have actually done anything. Take all of that. Jump back on the bike. But there we go. There we go. I'm now as good with the stun button as I'm really ever going to be. I've got a maxed out position perk. I've got the repulsor mod. It's a tier six, fully modded. I've done everything that people told me I needed to do to make the stun button somewhat usable. And given how much trouble I'm having the last couple of days, I'm not sure it actually is. I'm, I wanted to give it its best shot. I really wanted to. But I'd definitely rather use you. I really would. Somehow my steroids have worn off and my health bar's about to wear off before my ankle is healed. How did that happen? How did my ankle get, like, get, the time my ankle goes slower when I had the steroids, which stops it getting worse? That doesn't make an awful lot of sense to me. Oh, I feel like I've been stitched up. All because I didn't have the cast. All because I didn't have the cast. The bird pushed me off the edge. I broke my shins. And I had no way to fix it because I left all my, all my valuable shit back at home. I only have myself to blame and that's the worst kind. Oh, Bobby boy. I've been through the wars this morning. I'm not going to run in to see it because I'm going to hurt myself to do it. Hey, bud. Wait, was it five minutes it's now? It's good to see a familiar face. I hope you've been faring well. All I did is ride my bike? Does riding my bike hurt my leg? Nah. Nah, surely not. Surely not. That's some bleeding shenanigans if that's the bloody case. G'day, Bob. What jobs do you have? You've got a... Oh, buried supplies. Actually, given I can't move, that wouldn't be a particularly bad idea well, for me. Sure. Sure. I'll do that. Stick. Okay. So it's got four minutes 50 left. 
on my splintered leg. It's fine while I'm riding without turbo. And fine when I'm using the turbo. So how did my leg get hurt? How did my leg get worse by riding my bike around? What the shit is up with that? I'm not sure what, how, why, or when, but I definitely feel like the game is taking the old P155. Speaking of taking the P155, is that under the road? No, not quite. Just outside. Just outside. All right, well. Oh, but this is the thing. I'm, this is going to call in zombies. <sighs> if I was smart and sensible, I would just stand here for four minutes until my leg works again. Because this is going to call in ferals. And I'm going to, like, out of habit, I'm going to I'm gonna start trying to sprint. Although, you know what I can do? You know what I can do? I can be brave. I'm not brave. I can pretend like I am. I'm going to try and use the ground to my advantage. I'm going to go down to this level. I'm going to dig myself like a choke point. So I'm either going to bury myself and the zombie's going to trap me and kill me, or I'm going to keep all the zombies in front of me and let the stun button do its best work. I'm going to crouch down. Do not touch the sprint button. Getting closer to the treasure. And it's called in the zombies. It should be down far enough that they should come into this hole. Like that. Perfect. Come on. There we go. And just keep him going. Keep him going right in front of me. I've got the, the chance for the 10% kill. Okay, mates. Oh, missed you. Champ power attack to charge you up. You're going to need another one soon. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there you go. I mean, look, it's not great. It's not a great solution to my problem. But hey, look at me being brave. Even with a broken leg, I'm still trying. I'm trying my best. There's the next one. That's spawned in a bunch. I want to stay near the hole, though. If I get too far away from the hole, they'll start trying to tunnel, and then we'll get caught on both sides. Can I else? Charge up. That didn't spread like I wanted it to. You're dead. Where's the others? They're digging. They're digging. Can you stop that, please? Thank you. Going to hit you square in your toesies to charge up my baton again. I mean, a toe shot still counts as a shot, so I still might get that, uh, that insta-kill. Why are you digging? Why are you digging? Explain yourself. What's going on? They've figured out... That was the insta -kill one there, I think. They've figured out my plan, and they're trying to circumvent it. You're down. You brought... Yep. I was going to say there should be another one. This is just... This is just a bad time. But what I'm going to do then, I'm going to take the lead from that soldier and dig an easier way for them to get in, so they should come to here. No digging or dropping required. Really making it as, uh, as tempting as appealing to the zombies as it can be. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Buried supplies. There you are. What have you got? You got enforced gloves, fuel uses, negative four. Read you, sell you, sell you, take that and take you. I'm not going to be cucumber. We're going to chuck you on anyway. All right. Oh, no, don't, don't run. Don't run. Let's get back. Come on, stand up properly, please. Oh, no, I crouched in a tunnel. I thought they fixed this. I thought they fixed that you get slowed down, but it's okay. I can't get out of here anyway. Got three minutes left on my broken leg, and I did touch the shift key by accident for half a second, and it added so much time. Okay, we're good. I can't jump. I can't jump. Hold on. I'll dig my way out like the Simpsons. Thanks, Mo. Come on, up we go. Up we go. Up to you. Oh, that was the diciest bloody buried supplies quest I've ever done, but managed to make it work. Bobby boy, I'm back again. Honk the horn, open the doors. Look at this. Look at how good it is actually meant to use the road in the traders like they're meant to. There's a whole, like, drive-through built in the Bobby Boys and most of the traders that just can't well, be used. Me. Maybe it's that means at some point in the future, again. honk to open doors will be part of vanilla. Maybe they're gearing up to that. Don't know why sort of it thing already, but whatever. You Here's your pay. What's going to be the worth the most amount of money? 216, 192, 264. So I'll take you just for the dosh. I probably do need to come and sell a bunch of things to you. Do a vehicle adventures as well. Well, you're lower than a snake's belly and a wagon root. <laughs> See, at least Bobby Boy's creative with his insults. Rex just a knob. Bobby Boy's kind of funny. I've got a minute 40 till my legs healed. I'm going to go back home and get the stuff to sell to Trady and do that. That's a spider. It's going to turn right and get away from you. And I think I'm going to spend the last minute 40... Because I'm just going to end up running up the stairway or something. Or there's going to be screamers at my house or whatever. But there's always screamers around that block. So I don't want to go back there until I've got all of my mobility uh, back again. So I'm going to spend the next minute and 30 just riding around nice and casually. Checking out 
all over the newspaper stands. Mailbox with some armor crafting, make sure I'm wearing the right thing. In fact, I'll even just chuck some shit back into my bike so I can move around a little bit better. Nothing else. But yeah, letterboxes, mailboxes, newspaper stands. Just spend some time. Spend some time reading. That's always a good idea. Instead of reading, I'm turning to a life of crime and stealing money out of ATMs. Thank you. Gonna start breaking things as well. Theft, larceny, destruction of property. See what happens when you don't read books? <laughs> Listen, I need pictures, okay? I didn't, none of these books have any pictures in them. How am I supposed to read? It's the last couple of seconds of my broken leg. Really got to start focusing and get those casts in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be regretting not bringing them with me every time I close my eyes for the next little while. Just relive that nightmare. Oh, sorry. There we go. My legs all healed again. Nice. Okay. Well, there's a little letter letterboxes here. I'll do a Yui and start heading back home again. Get all the stuff to go sell the tradie. I can make a, t a legendary Sammy the Sledgy boy. I wish. I wish. It's lonely out here. Until I get DD, I'm all on my lonesome. Chen's so far away. It's not much, but it's home. In fact, I could probably renovate this place and make it much, much nicer. But now that I know there's that bigger, more impressive city out on the horizon, I might scope that out and see if there's somewhere better. Or just kind of bank the... Like, maybe I just gamble. Maybe I gamble that there is actually going to be something better out there and just go. Like, what's the worst that happens? I find something equally as shitty as this joint. There's not much going for me in this place. It's not a good base. It's not a good place to live in. It's just a couple of walls up off the street that isn't even tall enough to stop the zombies from knowing that I'm here. It's already night time. It's already 7 p.m. I didn't realize how much of the day had already gone, but I suppose now that I think about it, I did do an awful lot this morning trying to keep myself alive. I filled up all three boxes. All three boxes of gubs. I need some more storage. I'm going to have to move my house again. I just got here. I think I've grabbed almost everything that I do want to sell. I've got my cheesecake. I've got my sugar bites. It doesn't have much more to, like, I want to buy off him, but I'll take the cheesecake just in case. Don't forget the ammo. Ammo gets sold. Has no other use for me. I've got most of the stuff already sorted out in you. You can just get crafted up some extra concrete then. I've made some repair kits to repair some stuff. Um, you need to be repaired and you need to be repaired. There's no other... Mods, I don't think I can chuck into stuff. You can take that one, I suppose. Make it worth that little bit of extra money. It's, it's not actually much. What's it worth? Like 70 bucks? I think you're worth more by yourself. You are. You're actually less valuable going into the machine gun. All right, that'll do. Let's quickly get out to trade then because it's about to be night time. <laughs> the day's gone in the blink so quick. Actually, you know what? This is dumb. This is dumb. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get locked out. I'm going to put all of my stuff into you. So first thing tomorrow, I can go and sell all that stuff to trade. I don't need to worry about what's where or how I'm doing anything. Everything I need is already in you. Nice and, nice and lovely like. I'm going to take those repair kits back. And I can make a better pickaxe now. So maybe I, just, I won't repair that one. I'll make a new one. So tier four. Tier fours have the same amount of mod slots as a tier three. So it won't give me all that much. But... It might just be that slight upgrade. You guys are still growing. You need to be upgraded. I mean, look, I was talking shit. I was talking shit about this base, but I mean, look at it. It's definitely not the... It's not the worst joint I've ever been in. That's for damn sure. Look at the view. Well, those screamers are showing up every four seconds anyway. I might as well just get some extra things cooking away. Some more waters. Once you're done with that, I'll take some extra... Coffees. I don't have much gunpowder, though. And Yaku Juice, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. My skill points are zero. Maybe, maybe then, maybe I take the ride out north to go to this new city. There might be another trader bob out there. I know that this baby boy doesn't have an awful lot for me. I can swing by him on the way through. Actually, yeah, that's his base spider. He's got that vehicle book that I kind of want, so I can swing by him. Sell all my stuff to him, buy the book for like 300 bucks. It's gonna be a little bit of extra money, but that's okay. Save my cheesecake until I get all the way out to the new trader and just go and scope out what this new city is about. Because potentially, oh, is that asking too much? Potentially, might be something worth living in out there. I don't know. I did see bigger buildings, but it's no guarantee. Nah, you know what? You know what? Nah, I'm gonna cancel you. You're way too far away. I'll go and do my trading tomorrow. Because then the day after we trade a restock day, a much better day to go explore because I double my chances of finding something good and just try and do some more jobs for trading. I need, I need to get that progression. I need to get that progression going. So I just need more clay soil to make some more... Oh, I've already put, my, put down my farm pots. I mean, who knows? Maybe I won't find a base worth living in out at the new joint. So I, I putting down my roots in this place isn't too bad. 
there's just not enough here. It's just, there's not enough to work with here. It's not going to be... Especially because I'm so reliant on base building for the stun button to actually get me through. I, I have to try. I have to try and, like, just maximize my attempts there. So going to potentially a new, a new city to find something better. I think that's the right call. I really do. It's about to be night time. I'm getting up to some more sketchy shit trying to break into another ATM. In fact, there it is. I don't want to be out too late after dark. I'm very thirsty and very hungry. I didn't feed myself before I left. I was going to say, it sounds like there's some zombies around. You know what? I want it. I want it. I want your money. If I'm doing selling tomorrow, I want the extra cash. ScoMo's over there looking real suspect, though. You take the heat. You distract the zombies. Go away. I'll take this. Please be worth it. Please be bloody worth it. I'm risking it by being out here this late. It was worth it. It was worth it. 1500 bucks out of you, and that's before all my discounts and benefits. All right. Ooh. You can be made out of farm plots. Oh, there's more in there, too. There's a bunch of corpses. You give me so little actual meat per corpse, though. You only give me one per... That's, that's not even worth it. I'm going to close that door. I'm going to go back home again. That wasn't worth it at all. I, I would have thought an entire body worth of meat would be worth more than one rotten meat uh, like item. <laughs> that's very disappointing. All right. Well... Look, I, I really like these small little bases. I really do. I wish there was more reason to build bigger. I want more workbenches. I want more reason to have bigger, more expansive bases, not just like a little one-room hole that does enough. I love like the bi the, the bigger ones where you have workbenches, everyone do specific tasks. A boy can dream. I've been dreaming for a long time. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Tomorrow, I'm going to try and punch out all those jobs for training. Try and get the next level up to increase some of the other things. But most importantly, try and find... Well, I'm going to point to you, actually, right there. But try and find that intellect mod so I can respec, which I'll buy tomorrow after I do all my selling, so I can respec, make everything better, and try and balance my character that little bit more. But I'm going to have to do that in the next episode because this episode is done. Done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the pages of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, but don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.